So we talk about, what do we talk about? We talk about TABS, right? The one population that we all belong to, which stands for temporarily, er, temporarily able-bodied. Tell us what you know about that. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, well, I was 15 years old when I had a spinal aneurysm. And so I've been a wheelchair user for um, over almost over 40 years. What does that mean? though, right? I mean, like what? that idea of we talk about like, like you're in a flash, right? In, in yeah. minutes, in hours, in days, in weeks, you can go from being totally able-bodied to disabled. And, and what yep. were you doing? Kay, you know, why don't you hold up that book? Because I don't have it out here. This amazing book that this man wrote. I don't know if everybody sees it or not. It's called Getting Undressed from Paralysis to Purpose. But what were you doing? What was a spinal aneurysm? What were you doing at the time that, that you acquired that? I was a yeah, sophomore I, at Marquette High School here in the city and I was, loved basketball. Went to school that morning. It was a Friday. It was October 19th of 1979. So we're coming up on the anniversary of that. Went to school, had some back pain. Didn't think anything of it. I had just had a physical the week before. Doctors gave me a thumbs up, get ready for basketball. And within a 24 hour period, uh, I went from back pain to the emergency room to uh, being paralyzed. And it really was a life changing experience, obviously, but there were other experiences along the way that actually changed my life. Um, and I, I talk about going from paralysis to purpose because we all deal with some sort of paralysis in our life at some time. It doesn't have to necessarily be physical. It can be mental, it can be psychological, it can be uh, financial, relationship, whatever. But how do we get from that tough place to a place of purpose? And there are three things that I think are important. We talk about this. We talk about the importance of perspective. You know, how do you see it? Do you see something uh, as an opportunity to grow? Uh, number two, how bad do you want this thing? Perseverance. We talked about Damien's perseverance with the Ability Center and his never going to give up attitude. That becomes important. And thirdly, partnerships. You know, I'm grateful that I don't have to, I haven't had to make this journey alone. Um, and I think that's one of the things that Damien really does a great job in is developing partnerships with people and organizations to help move us from this tough place of things not being universally acceptable to a place where they become so, so that we can actually serve others and make their lives better. And that's, um, um, you know, who I am also. I think that's what made, made our marriage, so to speak, uh, uh, work out the way it does because we're both passionate about what we do and, and we have different ways of getting it done. But at the end of the day, if we can make one person or one family's life better through what we're trying to do, uh, whether it's at the beach or at an ice skating rink, or at a park, or at a uh, open gym somewhere. It's worth all the effort, and that's why we do it. And that's what's important, because that's what we're doing here, right? We're saying that kids deserve, and families deserve, and grandparents, and parents, and anybody with any limitation deserves to play equally with those that they love. To be able to have your brother, and your sister, and your cousins play with you, and participate with you, and, and you go somewhere, man, I don't even know what that would have been like, because my family was great, but I bet we, it, I bet it would have been just off the charts to have that kind of opportunity. Um, and I often wonder what my parents, how they would have loved to have that happen. You know, they were busy just, you know, you gotta understand when you have something happen overnight, uh, you don't have a lot of time to plan and think you've got to react. And they yeah. wanted to make sure I got back to school and that kind of stuff. And I often wonder now that I'm older, what would that have been like for us to be able to go to the park together or for us to maybe, uh, you know, go to uh, Bradford Beach together? We were able to go fishing and do some things, but not really some of those real basic things that I think we all just take for granted. And yeah. that's, what, that's what you're doing is that you're, you're, making, you're making the things we take for granted possible for people who don't get them. 